What's up, YouTube? Just wanted to bring you an update on Miss Tebow, my American alligator. She's a full-grown adult now, six and a half years old. She's only 38 inches. With her being an adult, she should slow down to about an inch a year. She's healthy. She's she's so well behaved. But I'll get into that more later. I'll just give you guys a, a look at the new enclosure I just built for her. It's about 7 foot by 5 and a half to 6 foot. Depending on the area. Got a nice little ramp going up here to her basking spot. And then she can drop into the pond. The pond's 21 inches deep, as you can see, the entire width of her enclosure, and it's about 75% overall of her enclosure, plus her extra ledge up here to lay out on. She spends probably about 80 to 90% of her time in the water since I've had her. The first enclosure that I built for her when she was a baby was half land, half water. And I started noticing that she was always in the water. It didn't matter what I did to the land. She always wanted to be in the water. She even sleeps in the water most of the time. So that's why her, her enclosure is predominantly water. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn her night light on also. Uh, as you can see, I can push down on this. It's sturdy. It's definitely going to support her weight. Pretty cool though. She's she's so well behaved since I uh, had her since a baby and I used to get in the kiddie pool with her that she's okay with me getting in the water with her right now I probably startled her but normally I'm not talking when I'm getting in with her She's also a little uncomfortable as I just got finished building this cage, so she's just getting used to it, but she definitely enjoys it. It's it's really a shame the way people look at these creatures. Anything in the wild is going to be aggressive. I mean, dogs before they were domesticated were wild. An alligator in the wild, yeah, if you go into its territory, it's going to probably attack you. Especially if it's hungry. But they're so intelligent... And if you spend the time with them and you either develop your own techniques or, I mean, I've developed techniques on training monitors and crocodilian species for the last 18 years that I've, I've perfected them with any creature, any monitor or crocodilian that is docile by nature that I have... I've not been bitten once by any of the docile monitors I've owned or my alligator now. And like I said, I've had her for six and a half years. Not once has she even attempted to bite me. Calm down. Yeah, I 
working in this world that we live in. You got the empty degree, consuming the heart's desire, sin. The kids and the grown ups always want more. We need to be satisfied down in the core. One happy people, God, we need you. Just to show you how sturdy this is, too. I mean, it's holding me 200 pounds. Plus her. I don't know, you want to swim. We're almost done the video, bro. Good girl. This is a little bit new for her too, just because her enclosure always used to be in an aquarium, so it used to be her territory. This is this is different for her, for me to be able to be inside of her aquarium, but it's something that I wanted her to get comfortable with. It's kind of the next stage of my training. I've, I've perfected the hand feeding with her now to the point that she even communicates with me. So, next part of it is for her to get fully comfortable with me and others coming into her enclosure. There's only so much content I can do on an alligator, but if you guys have any questions, if you want to see anything else, if you want any tips, if you're going to get one, please take it seriously, first of all. It, it's not a gecko. It's, it's not something that you can just set in a cage and leave alone. You need to spend time with it and you need to train them. But if it's something you're serious about, reach out to me. I'll give you any help I can. Thanks for checking out the video. God bless.